Excuse me, do you have the time? Do you understand what I'm asking you? Do you have the time? Is another way Americans sometimes ask, what time is it? Or do you know what time it is? Do you have the time? But if I ask, do you have time now? Or do you have some time now? I'm asking if you're available to talk with me right now. It's like asking, are you free? Well, I hope you do have some time now because in the next several minutes, I'd like to go over five expressions related to time. Learn five expressions related to time with Jennifer. For the time being means just for now not forever and not for a long time. For the time being, I'm doing some yoga at home. When my schedule gets a little lighter, I'll go back to class. How about you? Is there anything you're doing just for the time being? How often do you get together with your neighbors? I've hosted a few tea parties for the ladies on my street, so we don't gather often, but I can say that we socialize from time to time. It's just that our family schedules are so busy, it can't happen often. So what does from time to time mean? It means sometimes, just not very often. Do you get together with your neighbors from time to time? Those of you who are parents probably understand very well what it means to teach good habits. I've told my son time and time again to turn off the lights when he's not in his room, especially the closet light. And he forgets repeatedly. I feel like I'll be giving this reminder for a few more years. <laughs> so time and time again means very often and usually over a long period of time. But I bet we all forget things and we intend to do things, but time and time again, it just doesn't happen for some reason, right? Do you have anything in your closet that you don't really use? I have these scarves. I don't wear them, but I hold on to them because they were from my grandmother. They're mostly from the 1960s and 70s, <laughs> like this scarf. At the time, I'm sure this was very stylish. I don't know about the colors today, though. <laughs> so at the time means then, at a period when things were different from the way they are now. At the time, this was probably very stylish <laughs> in the 1960s. What do you know about the 1960s and 70s? What was popular at the time? I don't like to admit that I'm getting older, but I am. And one really annoying thing about aging is memory loss. Half the time I come into the kitchen and I can't remember what it is that I wanted to get. I might open a drawer and ask, what was it? <laughs> How often does this happen? A lot. Half the time refers to frequency. This expression might seem similar to time and time again, and there's some overlap, but I think time and time again is more about repeated actions like I've told you time and time again to clean up your room. But half the time can be more for situations. We can use it to complain about our habits or someone else's habits. Or a problem, like half the time I'm not getting notifications on my phone. What's the problem? Someone can remind me, well, Jennifer, I've told you time and time again you have to change your settings. Okay? How about you? What's something that you do half the time? Is it an annoying habit?
Let's review the five expressions we learned. Find the definition for this one, from time to time. There it is. Next, for the time being. Did you find the match? Here it is. Next, time and time again. Do you remember what it means? Here's the definition. How about at the time? Correct. And finally, half the time. Which definition is correct? This one. That's all for now. I hope you'll soon find time to study with me again. Thanks for watching and happy studies.